Hi friends, welcome. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Festivus, whatever you're celebrating. This is Rebecca from Body Illumination and today I will guide you through a 30 minute yin yoga practice for stress relief and calm during the holiday season. It should both inspire you and invigorate you. For the season, we prep our houses, gifts, menus, and events, but we often don't put the same time into our bodies and our spirit, and we find ourselves a little overwhelmed or depleted, but with the right mindset and our practice, we can transform and release our holiday stress and immerse ourselves in the beauty of the season. I am using three to five blocks and a big pillow today. So grab those if you have them ready. You can definitely substitute with something else or modify with no props today. Let's find a seat on the mat. Take a moment to find some movement. Take the head up and down. Roll the shoulders. Lengthen through the spine. And let's direct the weight over the sit bones. Connect to the next inhale and feel that glow inside of you. That same glow and beauty that we see everywhere around the holidays. The twinkle lights inside of you lighting up. Maybe take a moment to set your intention. This can be a simple I am statement or maybe something more like a mantra or your sankalpa. Then take your hands to your heart center and bow down to the beauty inside of you, that beautiful light and glow inside of you. Let's move on to the hands and knees. Tuck the chin towards your chest and find a simple cat. Then lift the head and the heart for cow. Let's do that again. And now stretch back with the hips into a child's pose. And then arch forward back into your cow. Let's do one or maybe two more. Okay, grab a couple of props if you're going to use them. Stretch out onto the earth on your belly. Place the block over your head with your arms reaching and extended forward. We're going to set up and take the right arm forward onto the block. So your right elbow is reaching on top of the prop or the earth and then stack the left elbow right inside the right elbow crease like we do with eagle arms. Fingertips are reaching up towards the sky. Inhale and on the exhale, peel the shoulders down the back, accessing and opening the shoulders. If there's any pain here, try one arm forward, or you can take the arms a little bit closer or even underneath you. Connecting to any tightness, watch it. Allow it to surface. And now let's notice the spaciousness as well and the release. So watch them all without any opinions. Allow the body to find the balance in the stillness of the pose, in the minutia of the stretching within the tissues and the breath moving in and out of the body. When you hear those bells, we are releasing the pose. Friends, let's release the arms. Maybe look from side to side with your head. Take any movement that you need. And slowly press back into a child's pose.
Now reach the hands into the earth and extend the legs up and back into downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Shavasana. Lift the heels and then lower them. Try to stretch the skin at the joints on the knees and the ankles. Now lunge the left leg forward into your yin yoga pose dragon. We're going to twist and revolve this dragon to the left. If you want to join me and maybe bend the back right leg and reach back for the right ankle with your left hand. Or maybe simply twist the dragon to the left, taking the left hand to the inner thigh without the bind. With the next inhale, just be responsive to your body to any emotions that might surface and try to connect into the shifting within the tissues. On your next exhale, see what you can let go of. Okay, friends, let's move on. Turn open to the left long side of the mat and guide your back right leg forward to slide it underneath the bent left leg, stacking the knees into a pile for shoelace, or you may know it as knee pile. Taking the props over to the right hip, we are going to side bend to the right, stretching the side body, the outer hip, where the gallbladder meridian runs. Okay, some options here are twisting to the right with both forearms propped up on a prop or side bend with one forearm or the elbow on the prop. Or join me pulling the arms into the torso, bending your elbows towards your rib cage, and then flex the hands up and twist towards the right. Gently press the left hand into the left hip and the right hand behind your right hip into the earth. And then go ahead and side bend to the right with your neck and support your head with any props. Our gallbladder meridian affects our decision making, our digestion, the muscle and tissue. Stimulating this meridian may release edginess and cultivate a sense of ease. You can also try extending the bottom leg if the intensity is too much in the hips. Feel the blood circulating, nourishing those hips, the lymph moving through the body as you gently move into stillness. Okay, friends, come up to sit. Take your head and gently look from side to side.
Extend the left leg out long to the left and keep the right leg folded in. Let's turn our torso towards the extended leg and then maybe prop up a blanket underneath your hips or use some props in front of you as you fold forward, opening the urinary bladder meridian and decompressing the spine, lengthening the back and the hamstrings. Your inhale massages the digestive organs and notice the exhale softening and dissolving. Okay, let's come up to sit and turn towards the left short edge of the mat. Let's bend the extended left leg and slide your right leg back, moving into a yin swan, very similar to our yang pose of pigeon. And bring that left knee behind your left wrist. Notice if you're shifting your weight completely over to one side. And if you are, try to keep them a little more evenly distributed. Maybe prop up a pillow underneath the left hip or a block to try to even them out. To find the magical ease between the breaths.
okay, my lovely yogi friends, come on up. Let's slide the left leg back and come onto all fours on your hands and your knees. And then give your hips a little wiggle like a dance. Lower yourself onto your belly. Press the hands down under the shoulders and squeeze the elbows inward towards your lower ribs. Inhale, lift the chest into a cobra and on your exhale, melt down into the earth. Inhale, lift and open the heart and exhale, melt down. And do that again, feel the undulating movement through the spine. And then let's add some rotation. So look to the right, inhale and lift, and then look to the left, exhale and lower. Change directions. Look to your left, inhale, lift, roll the shoulders down your back one at a time, turn to the right, exhale and lower. Okay, let's do maybe one more round to each side. And now press onto all fours, grab your blocks, and we are coming down onto the belly again, reaching the arms forward into the eagle arms, this time with the left arm forward and the right arm on top. Now we are releasing the arms, stretch all the way back into child pose. And then let's lift the hips into downward facing dog and take the heels up and down. And then when you're ready, lunge the right leg forward, dropping the back leg into the earth and let's twist the torso towards the right, coming into our twisting dragon. If you'd like to play with the intensity, bend the back left leg and reach for the ankle. On your inhale, lift the heart, exhale and twist, embracing the shape. Now try to rewrite the pose on this side of the body, no expectations, just really explore.
Okay, friends, let's guide the hips back. Turn open to the right and alongside of your mat and guide your back left leg forward to slide it underneath the bent right leg, moving back into shoelace or knee pile, taking the props over to your left hip. Discover your options on this side as you move into your side bend to the left. Look for the play between finding an edge, the stimulation, and also cultivating a sense of ease, softening the musculature and moving inward. Okay, now come up to sit, release your head, extend the right leg out long to the right and keep the left leg folded in. Turn towards that extended leg and explore your half caterpillar with the right leg extended. Inhale, connect to your breath, exhale, melt in a little bit deeper. Let's come up to sit, turn towards the right short edge of your mat, bending the right leg, slide your left leg back, moving into your yin swan. Now move towards the earth, notice the flow of the inhale and the exhale. Inhale and notice anywhere you need to release. 
And then on the exhale, see what you can let go of. Okay, friends, let's slowly lift up. Take some small movements here. Maybe look from side to side. Swing your back leg around, still facing the short edge of your mat. And keep your hands behind you into the earth. Bend your legs, press your feet into the earth, and windshield wipe your legs from side to side. And we're moving into a reclining butterfly. So the soles of your feet come together and the knees splay open across the mat. I'm taking a pillow up against my lower back and I'm going to lie back on top of the pillow. So my hips are off of the pillow. Now you're welcome to move into Shavasana here or you can stay in this pose for a little bit and then move into Shavasana when you're ready. This is our final pose. Bring awareness to your breath. Feel the expansion into the whole body. Notice the exhale and connecting to the ease and relief as you let the breath go. softening all the edges. Simply surrender to gravity and melt into the earth. Friends, if you wish to stay here in Shavasana, then definitely do or start to bring awareness to your breath. On your inhale, connect to the eternal bliss around you and inside. Move the fingers, the toes. Add some small, gentle movements. Make the breath a little bigger. 
when you are ready, come over to your side into a little ball. Come up to a seated posture to close our practice. Take your time here, just take a moment to adjust to the movement in your body. Maybe shift your weight from side to side, side bend your head, look up, look down, look side to side, roll the shoulders back, bring the hands to your heart center, connecting back into that intention. Maybe it's something that you can bring with you throughout your day, or maybe throughout the holiday season. And let's open our hands and our palms up towards the sky and take a moment here to inhale into all the potential, all the beauty and the energy that surrounds you. Hands come to our heart in Anjali Mudra. Om Shanti 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 Namaste. Thank you so much for being here today and glowing your beautiful light with me, my dear yogi friends. I wish you the merriest of Christmases, the happiest of holidays and Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and a very, very blessed new year. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe to Body Illumination to see more videos and support the channel. Follow on social media like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Seasons, greetings, friends, and big blessings to you all. Namaste.